Hi guys. Um, so today I thought with all the craziness going on and everything, um, and it's a little scary sometimes with all this stuff that you keep hearing on TV and maybe you hear your families talk about, um, why don't we put a spin on things and make it not so scary? Uh, I thought today we could draw monsters. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but I really did think that maybe we could draw monsters. I'm thinking more cute monsters. Yeah. Um, for my ladies, maybe monsters that have little hearts and flowers around them. For my gentlemen, a more sophisticated monster. Monsters with bow ties. Just thinking. Just thinking. Um, but anyways, uh, let's just try drawing a few little monsters, okay? I'm going to draw it up here. And this may look um, backwards to you because, see, I wrote it the right way, but it's coming out backwards, and it's just because it's the camera I'm using. So we're doing what we can do with what we got, right? So, okay, let's get started. Um, so whenever I want to doodle, doodle, um, and I just want to draw cute little things or just, you know, whatever, and I'm just practicing, um, especially for monsters, we want to start with kind of a weird body. So let's try one monster in particular. We're going to try the monster that is almost like a rectangle, but he has kind of curved edges, and then we're going to make some little feet. So he won't be a closed rectangle at the bottom. Okay, so let's start with the body. For the body, I picture him kind of... There's my curve. I'm almost at a rectangle down here, and I'm going to kind of stop, okay? So let's see if I could zoom in just a little bit. Can I do this? I don't know. I'm trying. Ooh, look at that. Hey. Um, so anyways, this is going to be my monster body, okay? Um, let's make him some feet. So on the feet, you can do whatever you want. Um, if you want to do big feet, small feet. For this, I'm going to do some feet with some cute little toes. So here's my foot. One, two, three little toes. And I'm going to go up, across, and one, two, three more little toes. And mind you, this doesn't have to be perfect. We're just doodling, okay? It's just fine. Um, oh, dude, he needs some arms. So for the arms... I don't like to get too specific and try to make it look like a hand. If he's got three toes, let's make him have three fingers on each hand, okay? And they can be cute little bubbly fingers. So for this arm, I'm going to kind of go down and down. They're going to be parallel curved lines, okay? Parallel means that they don't touch. They just kind of go in the same direction together. And on this side, I'm going to do my parallel lines going... I'm going to curve him up. Um, at this point, you might want to make him muscles or something like that. I don't know. So now I'm going to go ahead and do his fingers. One, two, three little fat fingers to match his fat toes. And on this side, I'm going to do one, two, three little fingers to match his fat toes again. Okay. So far, so good. So we have a cute little monster. There, I'm pointing at it, with cute toes, cute arms. Now, let's think about the face. The face can make or break your monster. So let's give some attention to eyes. Um, me, in particular, I kind of think one eye, like a cyclops in the middle, is kind of cute. Um, I don't know. Most people would think it's gross. But for me, it's kind of cute. Why? Because I'm going to put some eyelashes on her. So let's think. I'm going to make just a round circle, kind of smack dab in the middle of the face. Again, it's a monster. Their bodies are weird. So for the eye, I'm going to make a big circle. And then maybe I'm just going to put like a weird pupil right there. There we go. That's it. Oh, I forgot her lashes. Let's hook this girl up with some lashes. There we go. Ooh, yeah. How about some bottom lashes? Can't forget those. Look at that. She's looking good. Okay. Now, what about the mouth? What should we do for the mouth? We can go full on smile, showing some teeth. Maybe we can do lips, something like that. Um, 
for me in particular, I think I want to do something that's close to SpongeBobish with some big front teeth. Um, but in this case, I am going to do a half smile like that. And I'm going to round the teeth because I'm not a big fan of big square teeth. I kind of like these weird rounded teeth. That kind of gives it a little something different. Very cute. I love her. So now, at this point, you can add whatever you want to the monster. We can add a bow for her hair. Um, I don't know. Maybe she can have some shoes on. Maybe a handbag. Whatever you want. Accessorize. So there's my first monster. I'm going to draw our next one down here. This one's going to be a little bit different. Let's make this one look kind of like a hybrid of a monster and a bunny rabbit, okay? It's going to be kind of cute. Again, we're keeping it very cute, okay? Um, so this might be our Easter bunny monster. Yeah, just for now. For the body, I'm going to start off with something that looks kind of like a carrot. Kind of weird, I know. Here we go. We'll round that out. There we go. Kind of like a carrot. Maybe you could say more like an upside down triangle. And remember, we're keeping the edges very round because that kind of makes things look a little softer and more cartoony. Okay, so here's the body so far. Uh, let's try something different with the feet. Let's try legs and feet. But let's do our legs and our feet kind of going out. Let's see. There we go. I'm going to do parallel lines again. Parallel lines again. There we go. I'm going to move the camera down just a little bit. There. Um, and for the feet, let's do some big round feet. Very cute. And remember, there's nothing wrong with your feet not looking exactly the same. It's okay. It's a monster. It's supposed to be kind of weird. It's supposed to be kind of wacky. So, so far, we got this cute little triangle carrot body cute little feet now what about the hand um i think we can maybe go with both hands waving up like that hey, oh. so let's do some parallel lines curving up parallel lines curving up on both sides there we go that's a good start if you're comfortable at this point with just doing some curved or rounded fingers, go ahead. If you want to do um, maybe different types of fingers, maybe longer, maybe you want to add more fingers. You want to have four or five fingers. That's fine. Um, for me, I'm going to do longer, but they're going to be three. Why? Just because I like the number. I don't know. Y'all know me. I'm a little weird. One, two, three fingers. Whoa, okay, so this thumb is a little big. It's cool. It's cool. All right, so I got my body, got my legs, got my hands, and that one weird finger. Um, let's get on to the face. For this bunny rabbit, it's going to be a mister, okay? It's going to be a mister rabbit. Um, he's a mister rabbit monster, so I think I want him to have two eyes. Um, I'm going to do two eyes that are kind of close together. So there's eyeball one, eyeball two, and maybe for the inside, we just do some goofy looking pupils in here, make them look kind of cross-eyed. There we go. That's cute. He's not going to have eyelashes because sometimes when you look at cartoons, you can tell who's the male and who's the female cartoon. Usually female cartoons have the big eyelashes. And the male cartoons don't. So for this case, I'm going to leave him eyelash less. Okay? So now, I need two more things. I need a mouth and I need some ears. Because he definitely doesn't look rabbitish yet. Um, so let's draw some ears. For him, I'm going to draw him some blue ears. Since he's a rabbit, I'm going to draw some big curved lines. Remember kind of McDonald's lines. We want them going up and down. So big curved lines. This is our start of our ears. Now, since I got to finish the ears, I'm going to do my parallel line and curve it at the end. So here's a parallel line, parallel curve, and curve it at the end. 
Again, parallel, parallel, curve it at the end. Oh my God, he looks so cute. He's looking more rabbitish now. Okay, now we need a mouth. Um, yes, he is a mister, so maybe I'll draw him a green mouth. Uh, in this case, I kind of do want to stick to the rabbit teeth. Again, I like to round them at the edges, not so much SpongeBobish and nice and square. I want them kind of round. It's just cuter. So I'm going to draw him a big wacky smile. My smile's going to go way up here, kind of way up to the sides, very cartoonish. And instead of putting the two uh, buck teeth up in the front, I'm going to put them kind of to the side. So I'm going to do one little curve here and one little curve here. Oh, my God. He looks so goofy and so cute. I feel like I'm missing something. Um, you know what? I think this guy, to make him look a little bit more rabbit monsterish, I think I'm going to do a nose on him because he just, he's so cute, but he needs something kind of pink, maybe a cute little pink nose. So I'm going to just do a round little nose like that. Oh my gosh, he's adorable. And there you go, that's it, okay? Um, the one thing I did wanna add for my little girl up here is I think I wanna put a bow in her hair. Now bows are not as hard as they look to draw. Um, so I'm gonna help you out, okay? All right. I'm gonna put the bow for the girl kind of off to the side, why? It just looks cuter. I don't know. I'm going to put it on this side because if I try to draw it here, it's too close to the hand. And if I draw it too big, it's just going to mesh with the hand and it does not look right. So I'm going to draw her cute little bow here. The easiest way to draw a bow is with three circles. You're going to have one smaller circle. That's our center of our bow. And then you're going to have two bigger circles on the side. Think Mickey Mouse ears. So we're going to do one big circle here and one big circle here. And anybody who's anybody who wears bows knows that sometimes you have those cute little bow tails. So we're going to draw a cute little bow tail here, bow tail here. Oh my gosh, that looks adorable. Now you can tell she's really, really pretty. I'm going to add these three little lines. That way people know that it's like a folded up bow. Super cute. Look at her. Oh, I love her. She's adorable. And then for him, I don't think he needs anything. Unless you want to do a, a tie. Maybe he needs to be sophistic, sophisticated. Sorry. Let's try a bow tie. No, no. Let's try a regular tie. So I'm going to draw a line that goes from one side to the other side. It doesn't matter that it's below his arms because he's a monster. Again, his looks all weird. So I draw one line going across, a horizontal line. Then I'm going to add an upside down triangle. So here's my upside down triangle. That's the start of our tie. Now, for the next part of our tie, we're going to go down, down, like another triangle. And then it's going to go to a point. Kind of like we're drawing a diamond. Maybe he has little polka dots on his tie. Very cute. Oh, he does look better with a tie. He looks sophisticated. All right. So for our first project, this was my little monsters. I drew a girl version and a boy version. Um, so what I would like you guys to do, and I can't wait to see you guys' this project, um, just draw some monsters. Practice a few different types. You don't have to draw exactly the ones I drew. I just want you to have some fun with it. Draw some weird body shapes, um, weird hands, weird arms, especially weird faces because those always give it life. Um, and I, it, I don't care if you have colors or not like that. If you just want to do it on uh, pencil, paper, um, line paper is okay too. But I look forward to seeing them all. So if you can, whenever you're done with your monsters, if you can take a picture and you can email it or upload it to the Google Classroom, um, I am looking forward to 